Hello guys and welcome back to our wonderful journey into physics. In today's episode we are going to discuss about polar coordinates. First of all, what are polar coordinates? Polar coordinates is just a different uh, way to describe the position, the velocity and the acceleration of a body. Now let's make our three di dimension axis. X, Y, and Z. So, for example, let's say that our object is on the point right here. The distance from the reference point is called P. And the angle of the vector P with the x-axis it's called phi. Our goal is to describe the position, velocity and acceleration of the point in reference to the unitary vectors of position and angle let's see how we can do this if we want to find the position vector of an object it is easy because it is simply the distance of the object from the reference point which is P in the direction of the unitary uh, vector of the position of the object simple as that now in order to find the velocity you have to do the following we know that the velocity of an object is a derivative in respect to time of each position now we take what we found in the first but now we can see that both the distance and the unitary uh, vector of distance changes over time so we must use the rules of derivatives and we have the following in this equation we don't know the value of the derivative of the unitary vector of position and we need to find this and we are going to find this using the Cartesian coordinates let's make another diagram of, of uh, x and psi axis Now, as you know, in the Cartesian coordinates, we have that the vector P equals to P cosine phi in the x direction plus P sine phi in the y direction. Now we need to find the unitary, po uh, the unitary vector of ve the vector P, which is So we know that P cosine phi x plus P sine phi in the y direction plus sine. Now this is 1 so this goes now and we have the final result that the unitary pi equals to 
the unitary vector of p, of p and we have the final result that unitary vector of p equals cosine phi in the x direction plus sine phi in the y direction now let's find the derivative in respect to time now we have to because you don't have a the variable t in here, we have to use the chain rule so this is the derivative of the unitary vector in respect to phi and this is the derivative of, of phi which is the following minus sine phi in the x direction plus cos phi in the c direction multiplied by phi dot which is the derivative of the angle phi in respect to time the phi vector is where the phi angle gets increased it's in this direction let's move it down to the start of the p-vector now we know that this angle and this angle here have their sides this is also the angle phi let's call this distance k so we have that the phi vector is k sinus phi in the x direction plus k cosinus phi in the y direction now we'll do the same in order to find the unitary uh, the unitary vector which is the following equals if we do the same logic uh, right, as we did in the unitary vector of uh, the distance we have that phi equals to sinus phi in the x direction plus cosinus phi in the c direction Now in order to find the in, in order to find now in o now in order to find the derivative of the vector or the unitary vector f we'll do the following the chain rule as we did to find the derivative of the unitary vector of distance and here is the result and all of it is multiplied with phi dot now what do we have? as you can see this is minus k As you can see, we have that equals two. So guys, also here it's minus. So 
and from this one we have that the derivative of the unit vector equals to phi dot Now that we, we have those two equations, we can go back and complete our equations for velocity and acceleration. Now that we found the derivative of the unitary vector, we can uh, complete our equation, which is the following. And we can and now we can use this to find the acceleration. So the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity in respect to time, which is Now we'll do the same rules because all of these uh, change over time. So we have the following. Now we'll do this also for this one now we'll use the equation that we found for the derivative of the unitary vector of phi Now I'm going to separate everything that uh, is uh, is multiplied. Now I'm going to separate everything in those that are multiplied by the unitary vector of distance and those that are multiplied by the unitary vector of the angle. And we have the following. And this is the equation of acceleration. And now to sum up, here we have the three equations of velocity, position and acceleration in the polar coordinates. Of course, if you like this video, you can subscribe in my channel for more videos like this. You can also comment in the comment section below in everything you want to ask about the polar coordinates. And of course, give a like and share this video if you want. Thanks again and see you in our next episode to our wonderful journey into physics.